right. What's going on, everybody? It's Robert Goodness, aka Stan Games. Before I start this video, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, stay up to date with all my motherfucking videos. Follow me on Instagram at Robert Fitness and follow my band, Divided Mansion on Spotify. All that shit will be in the description box below. If you guys want to see the channel grow, give the video a thumbs up. Really would appreciate it if the channel grow. It doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. You guys can donate to the channel and all that other shit will also be in the description. Got my guy, the gaining ground, Cliff, the fucking goddamn internet sensation over here. What can I say? <laughs> People love me. What can I say? So if you don't know who he is, he's my actually one of my clients. He's been making all kinds of gains. He's been losing weight. And I uh, thought I would do a review video with them. We got some vegan protein action over here. Yay. Like my steel. The box, the box is the best part. The box is the box is pretty clean. I ain't gonna lie. It's a nice little, you know, put your, you know, coins in there or some shit. But anyways, uh, get a sample pack for ten dollars. As far as the price point, um, price point on this shit is uh thirty five dollars for twenty five servings, and uh, I'd say that's uh probably a little bit expensive. A lot. I, yeah, pretty. Well, I've seen two dollars a serving before for vegan, so I mean it's it's like in the dollar fifty to dollar seventy five range. So it's I'd say it's upper it's upper middle wrist range. Um and they have five flavors here, but they actually have two more that we just found out about. Uh peanut butter and fucking jelly. Didn't know about that one. And what was the other one? Hot chocolate? Hot cocoa. Hot cocoa. So we got five flavors here. We're gonna go ahead and go over the label real quick. Uh yeah, see. Labels for little people. Yeah, no shit. Tiny, I can't see it. I'm gonna put the shit over the thing when I edit it, so it'll, it'll be it'll be more cleaner than this. Yeah, I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna edit it, so it'll be all right. But anyways, 110 calories, one fat, two carbs, one fiber, one sugar, 20 grams of protein, and then there's a complete amino acid profile below that. Um, and then the other ingredients is brown rice protein, pea protein isolate. Maltodextrin, beetroot extract, natural flavors, xanthan gum, and stevia and sucralose. So it is sweetened with stevia and it is sweetened with sucralose. And there is two different forms of protein. Pea protein and brown rice are the two uh, protein sources. So that's all we got. You got anything soy to say? Soy free, soy free, oh. gluten free, vegan, dairy free, and non GMO. Yep. Uh, what else we got to go? Never had pea. I've never had these kind of proteins before. I hope I don't get the bubble gum. You've never had what? I've never had this type of protein before, like pea protein. What was the other one? Oh, brown rice. Yeah, I hope I don't get the bubble guts. You'll be all right. You're going to get 100 grams of protein right here, so I'll see that shit on your macros. <laughs> True. Uh, let's do vanilla first, yeah? Keep it basic I think first? We should go... I already have the order in my head. I think we should do all right. vanilla, milk chocolate, snickerdoodle, peanut yep. butter, and cheesecake glass. Yep. That seems like, like the least. That seems like the least assaulting one. Uh, yep. Way to go. I like your thinking process. I got my shaker. Got my, I'm gonna do, eight, shaker. do. I'm gonna do eight ounces because I'm on a budget and I'm not trying to be wasting all my almond milk. Uh, I don't know. What does it say on the packet? It says eight to something ounces of water, which we don't do. Or almond milk. I don't know. I'm just. Gonna, I'm gonna do eight ounces each. If I can't stomach it, then I'll add more. Yeah. Hold on. I got a fresh. I got a fresh almond milk. I forgot to open it. I'm already ready to roll, baby. You see my vegan, my my diesel almond milk. <laughs> the warehouse. That's what I'm talking about. Warehouse shopping. Hold hey, on, behind. I here. got that cheap Aldi's. You got that name brand. This is what happens when you're a YouTube budgeter. That's what happens <laughs> when you have a BJ's membership. Oh, BJ's baby. <laughs> Unsweetened right, almond. What are we doing first? I already forgot vanilla. Van vanilla, right? Yeah. Oh, it got, it's got powder going everywhere. All right, I'm excited. It smells really good. It smells like um, smells like, like vanilla. It smells like cake. No, it smells like cake frosting, like cream yeah, cheese. Yeah, you're right. Frosting. It's got more of a uh, like a vanilla Ooh. ice cream smell to it. It's like super cloudy though. Uh, vegan powder is usually very fine, <laughs> very messy. Give me some asbestos. <laughs> some asbestos. I'm waiting on you. You ready? Uh, it, smell, it smells different when it's mixed. 
I don't know. It kind of smells. It kind of smells like putty. <laughs> smells like putty. Smell it for real. Smell it. Like um, putty. Like, what's that, that, that stuff you put on the wall. Uh, spackle. I know what you're saying. All right, Taste test. Try. Cheers. Mm 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 mm. What already? Really, you like that? Uh um. You know what it tastes like? Hold on. Or maybe I didn't mix it enough. Hold on. This is good. What are you talking about? I like this a lot. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. No, it um, it has a bite to it. It's like it's got black pepper in it. Black pepper. You know, <laughs> you don't taste like the spice. It's got it's like spicy. It's like spiked. It's not even in the ingredients. I like it. I don't know what you're talking about. That's not a good vanilla for me. No. You know what's weird, too? When you swallow it, it's got fruity undertones. Like it kind of, right? It kind of, unless my shaker wasn't clean all the way and I'm tasting some unicorn cookie shake. I don't know. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure I washed it good, though. I'll be honest. This tastes exactly what it says. It tastes like a vanilla cream pie. I don't know what you're talking about at all. I'm about ready to lick this fucking thing. Look. <laughs> it has like um I can't explain. It's got a bite to it. Man, I really like it. I really like it. I'm gonna be honest, I really like it. I don't even get vanilla. Really? I can't I get- like when you swallow it, 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 it kind of tastes like it's got a fruity pebble aftertaste. You don't taste any kind of fruit. <laughs> you don't taste that at all. Seriously. No, seriously, no. Like, breathe out. Just just breathe out with your mouth. I didn't breathe. <laughs> no, but like... I don't get vanilla. Maybe because it's... Maybe because it is a cream pie, and that's why... I, I don't know. I don't I'm know legit getting a cream pie taste. Maybe I'm that's not, what it is. Maybe I've never had vanilla. Maybe I was expecting just straight up vanilla. I didn't realize it's vanilla cream pie. Yeah, I just realized that too when I read it. All right, let's go with uh, milk chocolate. The more I drink it, it's not horrible, but there's something there's something that bites my tongue on the way down. I can't figure out what it is. I'm not oh. a fan. I give this one. How many stars are we doing? Five or ten? Uh, ten. All right, this one's a three for me. A three? Yeah. It's not, Man, know, our rating system is gonna be all. But even like, even up. when I do protein shakes, I need a flavor. I don't. I can't just do a vanilla or just a chocolate. So that might be my issue too. I need something that has like a, a profile, enough. a flavor profile. So I gotta go. I gotta go dump this out and rinse it out. All right. So I think it's I'll, the keep, I'll we... keep. I'll keep the audience busy. Don't worry. You got time. Keep, go ahead. We're not live, are we? I thought you were gonna edit this. No, I'm gonna edit it. But oh, I'll... all right. So we do. This is what we yeah. insert. We insert an edit cut. Yeah, I'll, I'll insert something. All right, so while he's cleaning the cup, uh, I honestly think it tastes like exactly like vanilla cream pie. Like, it's a very sweet vanilla, frosting cream pie taste, and the, the texture and everything's really on point. I'm going to be honest. I really liked it. I don't know. I, I don't know what he's talking about with the Fruity Pebbles and shit. I don't know. <laughs> I liked it a lot. So, um, as far as ratings, I'm going to give... I don't I, I don't want to do ratings yet until... Um, so we try all of them. So I think I'm just spoiled with muscle sport. Possibly. This muscle sport is some bougie good Possibly. stuff. All right, milk chocolate action. <clears throat> right? Yeah, I'm gonna pour it out. Pour one for my homies. Hopefully the chocolate. Yeah, this this, this smells chocolate? like hot chocolate. So, no, it's just milk chocolate. All right, so this is not supposed to be like a pie or nothing. It's just straight up milk chocolate. Yeah, but it smells like hot chocolate, which I'm curious to what their hot chocolate would smell like. No, it smells like pure milk chocolate to me. This one actually smells good. This you one smells like, like chocolate? This one kind of smells like, no, it smells like, kind of smells like a Cadbury chocolate. Hmm. Or like, um, I think it's Cadbury I'm thinking of. That's super smooth chocolate. I don't, like, I don't like the way like that powder just comes back at you for some extra action. The what? 
the way the powder comes back at you for some like extra powder action. Oh, oh yeah, it does. Vegan po- vegan protein is so fucking messy. Oh, please taste better. Oh, I forgot my bowl. Hey, we'll do the ratings at the end. That way we can compare them and stuff. I'll forget it. I'll forget it. I won't. My shaker ball's not in there. What did my shaker ball do? Do you use a shaker ball? No, actually, I don't. Oh. All right, never mind. I've been Maybe doing it just raw. There's nothing in here except for just the cup. I don't know where my shaker went. I thought I, I thought I came back with it in my hand, but apparently not. The thing about it is it shakes up really well without being a ball. Yeah, I get hand. like, you don't get, I get that around the edge. Like, I got powder just like hanging out there. You don't get no. powder stuck. No, on your not head. Really. The, the lip goes. No, the lip. I'll see, you kind of have some of the inside too. How do you get? I don't know. All right, ready? Yep, smells like chocolate. Like some like really dark. Here's the thing. Again, to me, it smells better in powder form than it smells in liquid form. So let's see what happens. That's really oh. good. What are you what talking is about? What is wrong with you? What do you mean? Maybe because how much milk are you using? How much milk are you using? Eight ounces. Just like you did. This is like a really creamy chocolate. What are you talking about? Is my almond milk bad? I don't know. No, May 25th. Maybe you just don't like vegan stuff. I don't know. This is really good. I honestly... You honestly should try actual bad vegan stuff. This is really good. It has the same bite to it. There's got to be an ingredient I just don't like because it has the exact same. I can taste the same thing that I tasted in the vanilla, and oh I can't figure God, out what it is. Like, this is super impressive vegan shit. I'm not even joking. This is fucking good. Like, I'm wondering if it's like the brown rice proteins and stuff. I haven't had any of that. And if there's something in it that tastes exactly like the vanilla to me. This is like no. Wow, this is, really? This is this is like dollar store brand chocolate to me. It tastes like fake. I don't know. Maybe because you're used to vegan stuff. I am, but I also know bad vegan, and I've had some so, bad vegan. I can't. If you had to compare that to something, compare that to a chocolate that you would have. That's really? nasty. Compare that to a chocolate, like a, a chocolate bar. That's like what? We, what's that? What comes cold? Would you drink that? What do you think of? So I can try to like put it in my head. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I think it tastes like chocolate milk almost, honestly. But more creamier. Or more like uh, the consistency is a little bit thicker. The viscosity of it is a little bit thicker. It's like a thick milkshake, in my opinion. Missing something. I can't figure it out. Like I to me, I just to me, I get a hint of chocolate, but I get a lot of everything else. Really? Yeah, no, I would have looked forward to drinking that. Wow. Well, rinse it out. We'll go for. But like one. I said, but like I said, <laughs> like I said, snick and doodle. Let's go for snick and doodle. I don't usually like vanillas and just chocolates. I like flavors. So maybe oh yeah, that's, that's, true, that's true. That's true. That's true. So I'm gonna go dump this out. Oh. All right. Do you like snickerdoodle? I mean, I like the cookie, yeah. All right, well, let's see what happens here. Well, I'm going to rinse my mouth out. <laughs> That's the shit I would do. You sit by the jug. <laughs> That's awesome. I live, I live alone, so whatever. Well, no one drinks almond milk for me. I'm an almond milk yeah. fucking... It's just me and my dog, so ain't nobody else here. Now, this All one right. smells weird. All right, so it means I'll probably like it then if you think it's because we're apparently opposite today. I right? Can't even open this. I can't even open this one. It's, the tear is there, but it's not. Oh, got it. All right, let me smell it. I guess it smells all right. <laughs> you know what it's... <clears throat> it smells like it's a rotten version of the vanilla one. I don't know oh, why the hell you had me buy this. You need to next time you do one of these reviews, you gotta find yourself like a vegan YouTuber. 
That smells terrible. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. It does not smell good. It doesn't smell good. It smells like plaster. It smells like the vanilla. It like, like I want to spackle my wall with it. Yeah, I don't know about the smell on this one. Hold on. But hold on. But here's the thing, though. The last two smelled good in powder form. It smelled weird mixed. So maybe this one would smell good for me mixed. Maybe it'll taste good. Hold on. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't think you like vegan shit at this point. We'll see. Hey, that's the whole point of these reviews. Not everyone likes everything. I wish I knew like what the flavor was because the the first two has the same undertone. So there's a flavor that I don't. There's an ingredient that it must right. be the same ingredient that I don't like. It's probably stevia. It's probably stevia. You like stevia? Oh, is there stevia in here? Yeah. That's why. It's got stevia and sucralose. That might be the bitterness that I'm getting, because stevia to me is so bitter. It might be, yeah. It might I didn't be. even think about that. Like, I have stevia drops, but they're caramel, and I usually mix it with Sponda. Hmm. All right, you ready? Oh, that's... <laughs> well, it smells like sour meat. I can't. All right, let's hold on. on. <laughs> I'm a god. Uh... I don't know better. what the hell this is. Better it than the vanilla. It tastes like though. You know what this tastes like? This tastes like what the vanilla should have tasted like. This tastes like a vanilla. But it still has this that is, bite to it. But I bet you it's a stevia. I didn't even think this about is that. not snickerdoodly at all. I don't. I don't have the cinnamon taste or anything. This is the best one I've had because it tastes like a real vanilla. But as soon as I swallow, get that bite. It's got to be the stevia. It's got to be the stevia. This is really good, but it's not snickerdoodly at all. I wouldn't go that far. This one's good, and it's better than vanilla and chocolate. I don't get any snickerdoodle at all. This it is tastes weird. like it tastes like it's the vanilla cream pie, but it's more vanilla y than the vanilla yeah. cream pie was. Yeah, I don't understand what the hell is going on with this. Now, would I buy it still? No. It doesn't taste like snickerdoodle. It tastes like a fucking vanilla. It's weird. I mean, it kind of like. When you swallow and you let it come back up, it kind of does have a little bit of the cookie. Like when you eat a stick cookie and then you swallow it and it has that like taste. Of it it kind of has a little bit of that, like the cookie flavor, but it's not much. I'm not getting much of that that cinnamon though, that cinnamon snickerdoodle taste. I thought like it was that. ginger. Is it supposed to, what's in a snickerdoodle? I thought it was ginger. Well, ginger, snicker, uh, <clears throat> ginger and cinnamon. Is it? Whatever no. else. Yeah. This tastes like, this tastes like vanilla to me. Straight vanilla. Yeah, not, is, really. it, is it great vanilla? No, is it an okay vanilla? If somebody gave it to you for free, yes. Well, we got peanut butter, and strawberry cheesecake. I'm terrified of those two. Be right back. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? You all right? Yeah, I just I don't know. It was giving me like a little bit of heartburn. All right, what are we doing? The peanut butter action. Probably gonna die of this stuff. I you know, trust me. I drank a fuckload of vegan protein. You don't, you won't die. Trust me on that. So many of my fans are gonna come after you if I die from vegan protein poisoning. This, this one smells like broccoli or something. <laughs> don't tell me that because I will just throw it to the side. <laughs> I haven't even I opened it. I, I swear to God, it smells it. weird as fuck. Hold on. <laughs> I'm getting like a broccoli vibe. I don't know why. Oh, that, oh, that smells horrid. You know what? There's a hint of peanut butter, just a very, very small. Oh, that smells like the worst peanut butter in America. Oh, come on. You, oh, do you think that smells like good peanut butter? No, it smells like broccoli. Exactly. So that would make it the worst peanut butter in America. But smelling and tasting are two different things. I mean, they're kind of similar, but... <laughs> oh, God. Is peanut butter not vegan? Like, why couldn't they use peanut butter? It, peanut butter is vegan, isn't it? Yeah, but peanut they have to use a... It's got to be a protein source. Yeah, but why can't they use it? Like, is there real peanut butter in here? Did you actually read the, in the ingredients? No, I didn't read the ingredients on this one. It's too damn small. I can't see it. It's beet probably root <clears throat> beetroot extracts. I don't know why you need beetroot extract in a peanut butter powder. <laughs> I don't know. This one's going to make me sick. I already know. Oh, come on. That smell is terrible. It smells good now. You're a liar. It smells like peanut butter. It smells like peanut butter. Hold on. 
It smells like beer, but I see you don't get like. How come I get like? It gets stuck up. Hold on, I'm gonna. I gotta put. Don't drink yet. I gotta push down my finger and shake it again. Smells like peanut butter. Hold on. The announcers. All right. Here we go. <laughs> no, you know what? It, sm it smells like PB too. It smells like dehydrated peanut butter. Peanut butter. Yeah. Powder. That's fair. Here it goes. That's good. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> mm. That's really good. Nope. No, you're kidding me, right? You're joking, right? I'm serious. This is great. What's it taste like to you? It tastes like grapes to me. Grapes. <laughs> Maybe I'm having a stroke because it tastes terrible. What? The <laughs> Man, this review is all over the place. It smells like fruity pebbles, grapes, broccoli. <laughs> I just, I want to take another swig, but I literally just spit mine out in the sink. I'm dead serious. This tastes awesome. It's like a very undertone peanut butter. Okay, so what's the rest then? <laughs> <laughs> Like, if the peanut butter flavor is undertoned peanut butter, what's it taste like? It's just a light peanut butter, what I meant. It's like a so light. It's not, it's not like a super peanut buttery taste. It's like a under, it's like a very light peanut butter. So what is, the rest, what is the rest taste like to you? So to me, it's, it's just, like It's spackle. light. I don't know. Spackle with peanut butter. I'm going to try it one more time. I don't know. Peanut butter. I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't... Yeah, it's it's not the craziest peanut butter taste, but it's it's like a, a light peanut butter. I don't know. It's good. I like it. It's um once again, look. <laughs> what did you eat today? No, but still. That's why. <laughs> we got the strawberry cheesecake, and I already know what that one tastes like. So I'm, I'm curious what your thoughts are on the strawberry cheesecake. The more I drink this one. Did you overreact the first sip or something? No, there was something with that first sip. Cause, cause <laughs> when you, no, because you go into it with an expectation of what you think you're going to drink. Yeah. And what is it, when it doesn't taste like that, you're immediately just like, Ugh. but it's not. The more I drink it, the more I get the peanut butter, but it's not a good peanut butter. Fair it's enough. a it's a earthy, crunchy. Our peanuts were not harmed in the making of this peanut butter kind of peanut Whole Foods like <laughs> under arm hair with noodle shape kind of peanut butter. It's just like oh, a really crunchy peanut butter. It's a granola peanut butter. That's if you want to sleep, if you want to hug a tree, drink this peanut butter. Uh, I took another swig at the sink. I'll give it like an extra star when I'm done, but it's still. <laughs> hey, disclaimer! Disclaimer. This is fucking amazing. All I right. reviewed this one. So I'm curious your thoughts on this one for sure. And I might have to adjust my rating because now that I've tried the other ones, I might have to adjust my rating. But this gonna, fucker was really good. I'm going to drink milk without anything else on it. No, my milk tastes good. It's not my milk. The strawberry cheesecake little, smells horrendous. I'm going to put another, I'm gonna put a little extra milk in actually. Maybe that'll help. Maybe I'm not putting enough milk either. I don't know. That's true. I usually, I usually do 12 ounces for my protein shakes, but I don't want to waste all my milk on a review because I'm cheap. And the apocalypse been, is on. The apocalypse is on us. I'm trying not to go broke. You've been doing eight, right? Yeah, because it's I got a budget right now. The end of the world. Yeah. You said it smells horrendous? It doesn't smell that good, honestly. Great. <laughs> Just don't smell it. Too late. I mean, it smells like bubble gum. It smells like artificial strawberry bubble gum. Yeah, pretty much. That's that's a fair statement. We don't, right, don't, so don't, no, hey, hey, get out of there. Get out. I gotta, I gotta re, I gotta re rinse my lid. My dog just came up and licked the inside. Hold on. Rinse my lid. I'm trying not to get a cold sore. <laughs> 
It smells like artificial strawberry bubblegum, 100%. That's pretty much what it smells like, yeah. So, when I reviewed this, just the strawberry one, I gave it a really high rating, so... You gave this one a high rating? Yeah. So, I'm curious your thoughts. I'm very curious on your thoughts. Kind of smells like strawberry quick. I'm ready, ready. But I wasn't a fan of strawberry quick. I like my oh, chocolate. Fuck. Here we go. My chocolate quick. Spit out, good. spit out, <laughs> spit out the sink round two. What number did you give it? What number did you give it? The review. I gave this a nine before. All right. No. It has that same. I don't think it's the stevia. It has that same pepper. Like, I can't... Uh, pepper's not the right word, but... I don't think it's the stevia. There's something in it that I don't agree with, and I can't figure out... This wasn't... This isn't as good because as I the remember. strawberry, the strawberry flavor on its own is not bad, but as soon as I swallow it, there's this flavor, this thing that takes over my mouth, and it tastes like black pepper i can't explain it <laughs> it's not that this even, is not, not as good as i remember it this is weird it's I not even that it tastes, it's not even that it tastes like black pepper it's like when you eat something with a lot of pepper on it what it does to your mouth like not even the flavor of black pepper but it does something to your mouth i, I can't explain it i don't know this isn't as good as i remember this is uh it's still good to me but it's not as good as i remember i'm gonna be honest I drank it all. It's good for me. I don't know. It's not horrible if that's all you have, but I don't. I don't think I would drink it even if that was all I had. <laughs> I don't think I would. All right, let's get into the ratings. I know your ratings going to be like zeros out of tens, but all right. So let's go back vanilla, to the beginning. Vanilla cream had, pie. Now that I've had them all. I'm going to adjust vanilla to two. And the only reason why it's a two, because it has protein in it. And if you need protein, it's something to give you protein. The I'm chocolate. Give the... All right. Yeah. You oh, all right. Go ahead. What did you, I did, I did two. What did you vanilla? Vanilla cream. I'm giving that some bitch a nine. Uh, all right. Milk chocolate. Four. <laughs> Four. I mean, because it tasted better than the vanilla, but it was a weird chocolate taste. I'm going to give that song bitch nine. No. Snickerdoodle. Between five and a six. Five and a half. Because hmm. that tasted more like, that tasted like how vanilla should taste. Yeah, I agree with that. I do agree with that. But, and, it still and was not, heard... but it still was not a good vanilla, but it was more vanilla than the vanilla cream pie. I think on that regard, I'm going to give that a nine too. My mouth is bitter. Maybe it is the stevia. Uh, oh, that peanut butter. A one. I just peanut butter. I love I, no. I love peanut butter, and if you're gonna do peanut butter, you have to do it right. And even if there's a hint, and even if it started tasting better as I went along, your peanut butter protein should be amazing from the first sip until the last sip. And this was not to me. Don't mess with uh, peanut butter. I think I think the peanut butter. Man, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe a nine. Strawberry cheesecake. Oh, I'm going to go with 8.75 on the cheesecake. I thought it was better than it was before. Like, I like it, but it's not as good as I remember. There's something, there's a flavor from my childhood <laughs> that all of these things have. It was like a, a candy or a gum that I used to eat that when you got towards the end of the gum, maybe it was bazooka. Remember bazooka gum with the comics inside? Yeah, 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 yeah. When you got to the end of Bazooka and you were just chewing on, like, just the gum and there wasn't much flavor left, that's what that's the flavor that I'm getting out of all of these is chewed up Bazooka gum. <laughs> You've went all over the place. Grapes. Fucking oh, they're great. That, which gum. one was the grape one? Um, one of them tasted like grapes, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking 
Fruity Pebbles. The Fruity Pebbles was the, um, I think that was vanilla, right? When I, every time I swallowed it, it came back up as fruit. It was weird. <laughs> Strawberry oh, cheesecake. Man. Strawberry, I'm never. 8.75 for me. This one's dropping it down. I did give it a nine before. What did I give stick? <laughs> what did I give Snicker Doodle? Five. Four, six, five and a half? Yeah. I'd give it a five and a half strawberry cheesecake. And, and if oh. I was if I was if somebody forced me to drink any of these, if I was forced to do it, I would I would do strawberry cheesecake and snicker doodle, but I wouldn't be happy about it. So those are your top two? My top two, and then number three is chocolate, four is vanilla, and peanut butter is dead last. Wow. Now if I had to pick one out of the top two. Between Snicker Doodle and Strawberry Cheesecake, I think I would do the Snicker Doodle, but then I would do Strawberry Cheesecake. Now, actually, God, it's it's tough. I wish now I wish I had Snicker Doodle to drink. No, I, I Snicker Doodle first. This one second, and then chocolate, <laughs> chocolate third, vanilla four, and peanut butter dead last. I'm gonna give them all nines except for the Strawberry Cheesecake. I'm giving the Strawberry Cheesecake eight point seven five. You're generous. Bless your heart. I you fucking wanna, like him. You might want to cut me out of this video then so you can get a sponsorship. <laughs> I'm not <laughs> trying to get sponsored. Hey, I'm not trying to get sponsored by nobody. I'm just saying, you have a good chance at it because you actually enjoy them. Me, not so much. I'm not a vegan kind of guy. I just... Mm. Yeah. They don't taste They don't taste like any of the flavors they say they taste like. None of them do. Like, when you drink other protein shakes, Muscle Sport, if you're watching, call me. Their flavors... <laughs> except for Protella. Protella just tastes like chocolate shake. But wait, wait, other... wait, what about the what about the cookies one? You said you never reviewed it and you you were like you were in between oh. about it. Okay, so my problem with the cookies one, and I've resolved that issue since, is the stuff would get stuck at the bottom. All the good oh. stuff. So then you have to dig your fingers to get like the cookies or the chips out. Yeah. And then you got sticky fingers. But I found out that if you pour it into a glass and then drink it, problem solved. Oh. So the flavor's still okay. But my favorite still unicorn cookie shake. You know, I haven't tried the cinnamon toast crunch yet one, but that one is fire, man. <clears throat> but but most but I mean everyone the Girl Scout one, that coconut caramel that tastes like oh, yeah. amazing. Except for Protella, they're all amazing. And maybe the cookie one. All amazing. And they taste like what they say they're supposed to taste like. Steel, love your packaging. High quality right here. If you're gonna order this, get the sample pack just for the package. For the box. Keep your change in here. Keep your condoms in here. You keep everything. <laughs> just pull out, pull the box out of your nice thing for like one moment. You just boop, pull a steel out, a magnum out of your steel. Oh, and you shit. Oh, look at that. Jerry's getting excited. He's just throwing his camera everywhere. It's bound to happen. But yeah, this was this was a nice box. The packaging is an A+. Plus. The contents within the packaging, not so much. But it did come with a lot of other stuff that I'm not going to use, like pills and stuff. I don't do any pills or anything. Mine came with like a bunch of stuff. Oh yeah, 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 it did. Yeah. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use any of it. I'll probably give it to my brother-in-law and see if he wants to try it. But I'm not, I'm not, I don't mess with pills and stuff. So the packaging, A plus. Contents, F. Hey, maybe we'll review some other shit that's not vegan, so you can get more of a not so uh, never negative call, review never, on it. Never ask me for a vegan review ever again. I'm telling you right now. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say, hey, there's a new flavor out. We're gonna review it, buddy. I still have, <laughs> I still have the flavor in my mouth. Like I'm gonna go inside and make a nice coffee with some like Splenda just to get that bitter. Maybe it is the stevia. You're right, because I mean it's a bitter flavor. Maybe it is the stevia. I, I think it is the stevia. The sides of my tongue right now, I just like puckered. Not I you. think I know what you're saying, but I don't know. I think they did it really well. I don't know. <laughs> I it mean, doesn't bother me at all. So I, don't know. I mean, if you like soy-free, gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free, and non-GMO, this is perfect for you. Probably. <clears throat> all right, you want to wrap the review up? Yeah, the strawberry cheesecake, they should call this dollar store strawberry candies. <laughs> dollar store. <laughs> the peanut butter flavor, they should call PB1. PB1. <laughs> Snickerdoodle. Great value, vanilla. No, great value sugar cookies. Great value. The milk chocolate. 
Tootsie Roll. And then vanilla cream pie. I, to me, this was a true. I don't even know what you would call this. Um, I don't know. Just not, not vanilla cream pie. Yeah, I'm good with the review. I'm done. I'm going to go throw up probably. All right. Thank you guys for coming and supporting the channel. Thanks for the support as always. Let me know what you want to see next. If you like your fucking bad, subscribe, share, and comment below. Let's go over on Troll and Hate Us. Because we're fucking swole. Don't forget to follow me on social media. I'm on Fitness, Facebook, Fitness, Snapchat, Fitness, Instagram. I'm Fitness. Don't forget to like my band page, the Vitamin on Facebook, follow my band, the Vitamin on Spotify. Shop over some of these at Use my fill link, which will be in the description box below. All that should be in the description box below. Make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. Helps the channel grow and it doesn't cost you guys a fucking penny. And make sure you guys follow the Gaining Ground. He does reactions. He does, uh, what else do you do? Pretty much reactions. And my weight loss updates. Weight loss updates, reactions, and sometimes <coughs> even if I force him to do them, he'll do them. <laughs> and never a vegan review ever again. <laughs> so make sure you check his channel out and follow his journey on weight loss. How many pounds are you down? 25-ish? 27.4. 27? Holy 27. shit, I should know that. 27.4. Damn, you're making all kinds of gains. What are you talking about? After this video, so I'll probably down another two. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for the support, and uh, we'll check you guys later.